At Ashcan, we encourage all of our students to keep sketchbooks and draw on them daily. If you do this every day or every other day, you'll see your drawing skills improve really quickly. And if your sketchbook is done well, you can take a video of a sketchbook flip through to include in your art portfolio. Here we've compiled a few sketchbook examples from Ashcan students to give you some idea on where to start and if you have a sketchbook already to inspire you to try something new. These are two pages of a sketchbook that are very good because they're drawn well, but also because of the colors and composition. On the left, the student took an object, a Bart Simpson statue, and drew the object four different ways with four different lighting angles. Then on the opposite page, they drew a figure from life with the same and similar colors. Here the student uses the same color palette to draw quick life drawings of the people around them. Admissions counselors look at a lot of art and they always know if you've drawn from life or from a photograph. It's important for them to see that you're, you've drawn from life because when you do, you learn how to draw and paint and sculpt better and more quickly. This student took it a step further. First, they painted the sketchbook pages black, which is a great tip. Pages that you messed up on, uh, you can paint over them or cover them with paper or a magazine cutout and draw or paint over them. Drawing a series of hands and feet is a great way to learn to draw because both are very difficult to get right. Get as many details as possible in there. We've had students dedicate entire sketchbooks just to this. You can also use your pet as a model. Do some quick sketches of them in different poses and you can go back in and add color and other details if you want to. A series of simple portraits of just a subject's face is great to include in your sketchbook. Here the student used a pen for the outline and painted with ink to, sh to render the shadow, which looks great. And you can do the full figure too. On the right hand side, the student drew random shapes with markers and then made faces to fit inside, which can be really fun and it looks really good. On the other side, next to it, they drew a portrait of their dad watching TV and then added details with marker. People love to have their picture drawn, so don't be afraid to ask. You can also draw your bedroom or even a self-portrait with the objects in your bedroom around you. You can try different angles, perspectives, exaggerate things, and or create a narrative. This will reveal a lot about your character, which is good because you want to show admissions counselors how original you are. Are you neat or messy? Do you like modern things or things that are vintage or decorative? Do you collect certain things? This is a different student's drawing of their bedroom, which has an opposite feeling because of the red, and the strength of the hand next to it is an interesting juxtaposition. You can imagine the different personalities of this student and this student. It's also great to brainstorm project ideas in your sketchbook. By picking a topic and then drawing your ideas several times small like this, you can figure out the best composition, colors, and direction. People like seeing your creative process. This student brainstormed a different way by coming up with a concept and doing what's called an automatic drawing, just letting one image flow into the next on the page without thinking about it. This is similar where the student made their own organic shapes from their imagination. And this student played around with some pen drawing to design a logo, and they did it in a way where the pages themselves become a nice and interesting design. And this student tried out some characters and ideas for comics. When you're watching Netflix or TV, in your sketchbook, draw the actions and movements of the sports players or actors. Try to catch a series of poses and or facial expressions and choose a show, sport, or event that you love and your sincere interest will come through and it'll make it even more fun. You can ask a family member to help you as well. You can draw them as they do a series of short active poses. The official term for this is gesture drawing. It's drawing the action, form, and pose of a model or figure. It's where the artist draws a series of poses taken by a subject in a short amount of time, often as little as 10 seconds or as long as five minutes. Finally, you can add some collage elements. This student glued a test card to their sketchbook to draw over, and this student painted on some paper with watercolor, cut it out in shapes, and added it and glued it to their sketchbook to match the mood of the drawing on the previous page. And this student used many different elements in their sketchbook, like text, drawing, painting, collage. It shows a deep interest in art and design and learning, which is ideal for admissions counselors to see in your portfolio. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, please click on the subscribe button below. 
And for more information, visit www.ashcanstudio.com and visit our Instagram page for more portfolio examples.